This is the spinal cord and spinal canal model shown in various segments. That's the spinal cord. The brown line is the anterior median fissure. That would be the sympathetic trunk. These are bilateral structures but not shown. Uh, those are skeletal muscles of the cervical. Now looking at the nerves. This is the first rib there. The nerve that's immediately inferior to it is the T1 or thoracic one spinal nerve. That's C8. Counting backwards would be the C7, C6, C5, 4, 3. There's the 2 emerging from the atlas and axis. And just above there is the C1 emerging from the top or superior to the atlas. All of these spinal nerves, C1 through C4, make up the cervical plexus that stays innervating the neck and face. Then the C5 through the T1 form the brachial plexus that I'm circling there that goes out to the arm. And then this starts the T2 and T3 spinal nerves. Now flipping the model around, going down into the lumbar or lower back, or some people call the loin area. Starting with the 12th rib, right there. Then going to, that's the T12 spinal nerve. And then counting real quick would be the L1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. Those L1 through 4 form the lumbar plexus. Coming out there, up to the left here, is the femoral nerve that goes into the anterior thigh. And then that's the spinal cord that tapers as the cona medullaris. All these strands coming down are spinal nerves as part as the spinal cord collectively called the cauda equina. Then a closer view now into the sacral area, deeper into it. That's the sacrum opened up, cut open, looking at the red marrow. These are the spinal nerves coming in that form the sacral plexus. Out of that sacral plexus comes a, a large nerve here called the sciatic nerve there, and this is a sciatic nerve. Just medial to it is a thicker nerve there called the pudendal nerve. A close-up view in the thoracic area, the spinal cord again with the anterior median fissure. The blue here is the denticulate ligament, an extension of the pia mater from the cord going laterally to the vertebrae keeps the, vertebra, uh, the spinal cord from moving. This is the spinal nerve. The lighter tan closer here is the, the thinner one is the anterior root and the kind of orangish to the back would be the posterior root with its spinal ganglion. Take a look there at the spinal ganglion and the dorsal root. That spinal nerve emerges through the intervertebral foramen between the vertebrae. That is a sympathetic trunk through the thoracic. The pink are the chain ganglia or the autonomic ganglia.